everybody, and welcome to Splatalot, the medieval obstacle course that puts the shiv back in chivalry. I'm Jason Agnew, and with me is mysterious Matt Chin. That's right, Jason. Or is it? What's no mystery is that today's 12 brave attackers will need to bring their A-game to pass this grueling course. Good luck to that, because the disciplined defenders are signing them up for splat studies, and the attackers are about to get schooled. Old school, like 16th century style. All right, we get it already. Okay. In round one, our 12 attackers get tested by the merciless mode. The quickest six then try to skip detention by escaping the stockade. The fastest four are then onto the finals where they'll attempt to storm the castle and capture the coveted crown of Splatalot. Up first, the Merciless Moat. Plague Free since 1603. Attackers must cross the baffling barrels. They're unbarrelable. Climb the slippery slope and rolling mace. It packs a punch that's spite. Pass the beastly battle axes. They're just misunderstood. Cross the rope bridge of disaster. Where the toll is terror, or 225. Then perilously pull vault to the finish platform. What happened to the poisonous platform? There's no such thing. Isn't there? No, there isn't. Enough about the attackers. Let's get to the real heroes of this show, the Defenders. Watch out. I'm lurking in the shadows. Shady Shaden. Have lots of fear. Scab is here. Scary Scab. <laughs> and the seductive siren, Ballista. Is she looking over? No. They're highly skilled, highly trained, or at least highly motivated. With our defenders in place, let's get to our attackers, who I know are bursting with excitement. Just bursting. Let's go, Dragon! First up, Adriana. Dragons, eh? Looks like she's dragging her. And she's down. Take a seat, Adriana. And another. Hi, Adriana. Adriana loves maple syrup. Go, 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 go! Oh! Whoa! Oh, oh. Ouch! She could have used some sticky there. She tries to tap for some sap, but only gets splat. I think she's scared, Ballista. I think she's terrified. The defenders go to work on Adriana's confidence. And Adriana goes to work on her knee. Ooh. Ouch! That has got to hurt. Dragon down. I think that's a yoga pose, the praying dragon. More like slaying dragon. Let's see if Adriana fares better on the beastly battle axes. Say hello to the Huntress! Hi, Ballista. Oh, oh. she's with a splat shot. Oh. But Adriana's across the bridge and onto the pole. And into the water. Uh, and just like that, Goomba's through with a time of 4.59. Here's Nicholas. I want to splat a lot. We pick up Nicholas, having crossed the baffling barrels, and now onto the rolling mace. And oh, oh no! no! Splat! Nicholas wastes no time getting right to the point. What? No flowers? I guess that's how he rolls. Hi there, attacker! Hi, Ballista! Ah! Ouch! Hey, what? what's he? Leave her alone! Ballista? Oh, <laughs> that's better. Down goes Nick! Whose hero is Jonathan Kane, by the way, from the rock band Journey? I just stopped believing. But Nicholas holds on to that feeling with a time of seven minutes even. I love sugar! Luzanne Sugar rushed over the barrels. Ah! And into the line of fire. Splat! Luzanne's run is brought to you today by Max Earplugs. Okay. Huh? What'd you say? Just get the attacker scab. Come on, Rujan. Good work, Felicia. Rujan screams her <laughs> way to the pole vault. Rujan, stop screaming. And Moo Moo makes it. Ah! Ah! And she's through it. Ah! She's through ah! it. Take out the earplugs. She's through it for 52. I got a wicked wedge right now. Let's go. Here's Travon with a little too much information. His hero is Kobe Bryant, and he's really showing some athleticism out there. Oh, just miss. My name is Shaden, and you do not want to mess with me. Oh, he's giving her the hand. Flippy, is it? I can't wait to see this guy go splat. Down the slippery slope, and here he goes onto the beastly battle axes. He's cruising through. <laughs> Until he stalls. Quick, get the jumper cables. Oh, 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 and there he goes. Come on, Ballista, you can stop it. Hi, 
Tableista. And Kobe finally dunks. It's about time. Oh, yeah! That's how we do. Trey Trey's through with an impressive time of 145. He just needs to work on that self-confidence. I'm medieval! Yes! Ooh. Already through the barrel, Shay's a huge Harry Potter fan. Oh! Ooh. He's on cover, Cap! Looks like Shay just became a prisoner of Azgablam. Oh! oh. Here's Shay looking for a solution to the mace roll. Oh! The solution appears to be three parts Shay, one part moat. I hear climbing the battle axes is kind of like riding a bike. She doesn't ride bikes. No, <laughs> she does not. What a splat-tacular splat. Descendium Splaticus. Almost there. Let's play a little game called Who Can Get the Most Wet. Finally, a game she can win. Kinda. She's in with a time of 1021. A time that's almost as bad as that dance. Lexar looking for a clean takeoff. And gets a dirty dunkin'. Oh, he's a man. This is Ballista's game, attacker, and I'm gonna put you to shame. Ballista sowing the seeds of doubt. And Alexander answers with, oh, the splat of shame. Here it is again, shame-faced. Oh. oh! Well, he's still the man at 3.06. That must be the dance of shame. With six attackers through, it's Trevon leading the way at 145, and Shay with the time to beat at 1021. When we return, six new attackers look to leave their mark on the callous course of Splatalot. Welcome back to Splatalot. The only medieval castle with space enough to accommodate your next conquering convention. Splatalot Castle. Spend like an Abe, sleep like a knight. I'm Jason Agnew. And I'm Matt Shin. Well, the first six attackers have made their runs, and we've seen some impressive times. And some incredible splat. Trevon's on top at 145, and Shay's got the time to beat at 1021. Hold on tight as our next group of attackers tries to splat their way into the top six. Ah! Ah! Here's Annika. I'm 97% rubber! And 100% adorable. Slippy, is it? Come on, Annika, stop being a little princess. The princess and the pea shooter. Oh, nice hit as the princess becomes pea suit. Looks like it's open season on Monkey. Oh! Hey, Annika! She sure shrieks like a monkey. It's a good thing Annika's made out of rubber. Come on, Annika. Quit monkeying around. No, you're not! <laughs> Saw that coming. Monkey down! Annika nails down a time of 5.36. And then she runs away to join the circus. Environmentalist AJ claims to have big feet. And a barrel chest. He started out well. He just ignored the signs. No dumping. You guys better get ready. Are you ready? AJ's a percussionist. Oh! And he lays a beat down on the rolling mace. Yeah, I kind of like that beat. That's all right, I'll come up again. Come on, AJ, I thought you said you were the best. Oh, AJ just found his lost 19 pounds. And finds himself with a relatively heavy time of 7.34. Here's Asha. I'm gonna rock this castle! Whatevs. Oh, oh, and wow. Asha gets rocked in the goggles! I really like the color of your helmet. Very nice. You like pink? No! Scab likes purple as in bruises and bruises and bruises and bruises and bruises. Get ready to get wet! Come on, Buster! 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 You almost hit me! Sorry, Belisa, it's scab! Wait a second. Asha sneaks through while the defenders argue, and with 406, she moves into the top six, knocking out Nicholas. I am not a cracker! Hello, Graham. Hi, Graham. I'm Shaden. I'm Scab. And we're your worst nightmare. Oh, Ooh. a shoulder shot barely phases Graham. It's not Graham, it's Captain Cracker! Captain Cracker, who can leap small distances and crumbles in the face of danger. What makes these splats really hurt is the fact that he's covered in salt. And here's Captain Cracker with a less than super finish. I guess that's the Nutcracker. 
And Graham cracks to the top six with a time of 2.43. And an encore. Here's Hannah. I'm gonna splat a lot! Spoiler alert. Hey, Hannah, I hope you like slime. Oh. Hannah meets Scab. I don't think Scab's hand is tight. Hannah in trouble here. She's gonna need some fancy foot. Oh, splat. Hannah looking like a bonafide lumberjack out there. But then the fall, <laughs> so sad. She does, however, come up smiling. And with the time of 4.39, Hannah's through to the next round. I'm here to take over this territory. Anytime, Brad. Here's Brad taking over the barrels. Oh. And he claims one in the name of Splat. He doesn't even have a flag. He just plants his elbow. Splat! Splat! Come on, Brad. We're waiting. Splat a lot, not slow a lot. Yeah, Brad, anytime. Where's this super speed? Oh, 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 there it is. And there it goes. Some furious footwork there. The ankle cracker? Hi, Ballista. You haven't met the Huntress yet, Bradley. I'm waiting. Brad just can't seem to catch a break. Except in his ankles. Bradley, I'm disappointed. Is that all you got? Wait and see. You show her, Brad. I'm still waiting. I've been waiting for the past 20 minutes. Come on, Brad, show her. Or not. Brad shows off a few more moves and a time of 6.12. Well, Travon, Graham, Alexander, Asha, Hannah, and Muzan are all advancing to the next round. I like to call round two payback. Is that because you have the money you owe me? Not at all. It's because these attackers finally get what's coming to them, a little jail time. When we return, our six remaining attackers will try to escape the stockade to secure their shot at capturing the crown of Splatalot. You do the crime, you get the slime. 